Since The Force Awakens, we have all predicted that Rey will most likely turn to the dark side and Kylo Ren will turn back to the light side. The theory was mostly there just because of Rey's actions from Force Awakens and how she acted out in rage against Kylo Ren, but she didn't have training at the time, and also just because she might follow suit of what other characters have done um, in almost tipping to the dark side, but we think that she might actually tip simply because that would make it interesting to have the main characters swap sides. But after looking at the Last Jedi trailer and just some um, speculation and analysis, I think I have a reason to why Rey might turn to the dark side. So if Rey arrives to Luke's island and her expectation is to learn about the Force because she already knows she has the Force and she has used it um, on a few occasions without training. So I'm sure her expectation is that she is going to learn how to become a Jedi. But I think that Luke is going to be very reluctant to train anybody, um, and especially someone coming to his island where he's been hidden on his best friend's old ship, with his best friend being nowhere to be found. And just a little back to that, Luke is so disconnected from society that he might actually expect Han Solo to be on the Millennium Falcon when it arrives, and that's why he looks so shocked in that final shot, because there isn't any Han Solo, obviously, it's Rey. Which is probably why his first words are going to be, who are you? But either way, Luke's whole academy has been taken out, and I'm sure that when he sees any student or potential student, he's going to think straight back to what happened to Kylo Ren, and really be reluctant to do it. And also, it seems that Luke has changed and become what we used to call in Legends a Grey Jedi. Rey obviously knows who Luke is in The Force Awakens, because she says, Luke Skywalker, I thought he was just a myth, which means she's heard a lot about this heroic Jedi, and these expectations are going to be very against that. The reality of the situation is that he might not anymore be this heroic Jedi that is willing to spread his knowledge. I think that he's now found some new knowledge that's made him totally turn against the Jedi, hence the line, it's time for the Jedi to end, and Rey is very confused. I think Luke will train Rey, but I don't think he's going to train her to the full ability that he could. I think he's going to be very, very much holding back on what he teaches her, which I think will agitate her over time. I think about halfway through the film, what might happen is Rey will get into a fight with Kylo Ren, and she will lose miserably. I think Snoke will also be in the fight fighting Luke. I think Snoke will then defeat Luke, and then say to Rey that Luke has not trained her in a very good manner, and reveal to her how Luke has kind of half-assed her training. This will bring out the rage in Rey, because I think her hand will be cut off, and this will be that she will be blaming Luke for this, and then Snoke will then take that opportunity to seduce Rey to the dark side. Snoke will be showing Rey how much he could teach her if Rey was under him instead of Luke, kind of baiting her with the fact that he won't half ass her training, and instead he will train her to the full extent and use Kylo Ren as an example. I think this will enrage Kylo Ren, which obviously wouldn't bring him back to the light because rage is a dark side attribute, but I think he will be very angry at Snoke, and Snoke will then, once he's got Rey, cast Kylo aside, and this will be the start of his journey back to the light. And I think it will be around this point, I don't think we'll see any training of Rey in the dark side or any of that in episode 8, they'll save that for episode 9 and probably bring Rey back to the light, and probably kill Kylo Ren. So what do you think about my Rey theory? Do you think it has the potential to be correct? Do you think that there is no way that could happen? Leave what you think in the comments below, also leave any Rey theories you have because the more theories you absorb, the better judgement you can make in trying to think of it. Of course this is all speculation and we will not find out until December this year 
But either way, leave comments down below saying what you think of my theory and what your theories are. Subscribe if you want to be notified when I make new videos. And I hope you've had a great day.